Salamun alaykum all. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salat prayer. The times, how many, and more. The missing puzzle pieces to a salat. Most traditional Muslims always pray three or four rakat, but what they don't know is that isn't the correct view in the Quran. The three or four rakat stems from hadith, just like many other atrocities, killing apostates, stoning an adulterer, and many other things. But if you read the Quran thoroughly, then you will see that this is, could be further from the truth. Here are some ayat that does not support the hadith, especially about prayer or, or salat. 1587. We have certainly given you seven of the oft-repeated in pairs, al-Mathani, and the great Quran. 343. O Mary, be devotedly obedient to your Lord and prostrate and bow with those who bow in prayer. In 1587, El-Mathani means in pairs or twos. If you look at the root of it, Mathana, it means pairs of something, like example, wives. In 433, and 343, if you look at it, it says it backwards because you bow down before prostration. So there is at least one more rakat before the one Allah is talking about. 17, 107 to 109. Say, believe in it or do not believe. Indeed, those who were given knowledge before it, when it is recited to them, they fall upon their faces in prostration, and they say, Exalted is our Lord. Indeed, the promise of our Lord has been fulfilled, and they fall upon their faces weeping, and the Quran increases them in humble submission. And 343 and 17107 to 109, you can see details of a two prostration pattern in every rakat. These ayahs happen to be the only ones in the whole Quran that describe the act of two consecutive prostrations and the prayer in a phase of praying. How Hadith told you to pray only two rakat. Hadith has caused widespread corruption in Islam, and we can see that in today as we just look at the pure Quran. In Hadith Bakari, which is sound, apparently, in 346 with Aisha saying, Allah enjoined the prayer. When he enjoined it, it was only to rakat only. In every prayer, both in residence and on journey. Then, the prayer was offered on journey remained the, remained the same, but the prayers for non-travelers were increased. This hadith was, is not clear who increased the number of rakat, but it makes it known that Allah <clears throat> himself, who initiated the practice of two rakat in every prayer, as you can see in 1587, if Allah wanted the rakat to be more, he would have placed it in the Quran with full details. How to recite Salat and what tone is to be used? 30.31 Turn in repentance to him and fear him and establish prayer and do not be of those associate others with Allah. 4.103. When you have completed your the prayer, remember Allah standing, sitting, or lying on your sides. But when you become secure, establish regular prayer. Indeed, prayer has been decreed upon the believers, a decree of, of fixed times. 17.110. Say, call upon your Call upon Allah and call upon the Most Merciful. Whichever you call to Him belong to the best names. And do not recite loudly in your prayer or quietly, but seek between that away. 
1698. When you recite the Quran, seek refuge in Allah from Satan, the expelled from his mercy. 7204. When the Quran is recited, then listen to it and pay attention that you may receive mercy. 73.4. Or a little more and recite the Quran in slow, m measured rhythmic tones. This moderate tone is always therefore valid, day or night. What otherwise the Quran is full, fully detailed to provide to provide additional details, which is not the case. Hadith and Sunnah instruct people to recite the Quran silently during the day and aloud during the night, and a mix of the two, or a mix of the two which is a blatant corruption of the teachings of the Quran. Prostration and Bowing 48.29 Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah, and those with him are forceful against the disbelievers, merciful amongst themselves. You will see them bowing and prostrating in prayer, seeking bounty from Allah and his pleasure. They are marking on their faces from the trace of the prostration that their description in the Torah and their description in the gospel is as a plant which produces its offsprings, offshoots, and strengthen, strengthens them so they grow firm and stand upon their stalks, delighting the showers, so that Allah may en enrage by the disbelievers. Allah has promised those who, who believe and do righteous deeds among the them forgiveness and a great reward. 5040 And of the night, praise him, and after prostration. 2226 And when we designated for Abraham the site of the house, do not associate anything with me, and purify my house for those who perform tawaf, and those who stand in prayer, and those who bow and prostrate. Saddu means singular prostration. In order to stand, bow, prostrate is the basic of prayer as prescribed by all Muslims worldly. 4.102 And when you are among them, lead them in prayer. <clears throat> Let a group of them stand in prayer with you. Let them carry their arms. And when you have prostrated, let them be in, prostrate, in position behind you and have another, have other group, another group come forward, which has not yet prayed, and let them pray with you, standing, taking precaution and carrying their arms. Those who disbelieve wish that you would neglect your weapons and your baggage so that you could come down upon so that they could come down upon you in one single attack. But there is no blame upon you if you are troubled by rain or ill. For putting down your arms, but take precaution. Indeed, Allah has prescribed, prepared for the disbelievers a humiliating punishment. In this ayah, it talks about how a group of people prostrate are prostrating in twos. If you finish the prayer, then let an, another group come and pray with you, but leave the prostrating group behind you, though. Invoke Allah alone. 40.11 They say, Our Lord, you, you made us lifeless twice and gave us life twice, and we have confessed our sins. So is there to an exit anyway? Tugbir and the Quran 17, 110 to 111 Say, call upon Allah or call upon the Most Merciful. Whichever name you call, it to him belongs the best names. And do not recite loudly in your prayer 
or quietly, but seek between that away, and say praise to Allah, who has not taken a son and has had no had no partner in dominion and has no protector out of weakness and glorify him with glorification the saying of what kabiru tar tugbirin in 1710 is tugbir like allahu akbar and is recited at the start of the prayer and when changing positions in prayer and the word Akbar is similar to Kabir of course depends on the text Kabir is seen in 619 Allah is not only the great he is the greatest some ayah that will give you context to use 2262 Allah Al Kabiru, thirty one thirty, Allahu Kabiru, thirty four twenty three, Wahoa Al Kabiru, forty twelve, Allahi Al Kabir, thirteen nine, Allahi Al Kabir, four thirty four, Allaha Kabiran, Akbar is greater, Kabiri or Kabir means great, Al-Kabir, most great. So you get, what you get is Allahu Kabir. Why? Because you use, when you use Akbar, you have to say to yourself, Allah is greater than who? And if you use just Kabir, it means that he's not, you know, so important. He's just great. Um, but if you use Allahu Kabir, then that means he's most great. He is greater than anything. Salat is for Allah only. 39, 44 to 45. Say to Allah belongs intercession entirely. To him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. Then to him will you be returned. And when Allah is mentioned alone the heart of the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter shrink with aversion but when those worshiped other than him are mentioned immediately they rejoice the intercession is for Allah entirely and everything will be returned to him and mention Allah alone so you can rejoice What are the times of Salah in the Quran? Fajr, when the white thread of dawn is distinct from the black thread. Kuduwi, the morning of, with shadow. This cannot be done close to sunset. Wusta, noon. It's in midday, with not with a shadow, and it's called Wusta in the Quran. Asali, afternoon shadow declining. This cannot be done close to sunset. Ashia, this is Maghrib in tradition, traditional Muslim um, language. Horses were displayed to Suleiman and Ashia until they were given, or until they were hidden by the hijab of night. Prayers. The stars mean in the masjid. So oh, Fajr prayer is between dawn and sunrise. 24.58 O oh, you who have believed, let those whom your right hand possess and those who have not yet reached puberty among you ask permission before entering at three different times. Before the dawn prayer and when you put aside your clothing for rest at noon and after the night prayer. These three times of privacy are of privacy for you. There is no blame upon you, nor upon those beyond these periods, for they continually circulate among you. Some of you, among others, does does not does Allah make clear for you the verses, and Allah is knowing and wise. Seventeen seventy eight. Establish prayer at the decline of the sun, 
until the darkness of the night and the Quran of dawn, Fajr. Indeed, the recitation of dawn, Fajr, is, re is ever witnessed. Urduwi prayer. This prayer is from early to mid-morning, as long as there is a shadow. 1315. And to Allah prostrates whatever is within the heavens and the earth, willingly, willingly and by compulsion, and their shadows in the morning and in, in the afternoons. 11114. And establish prayer at the two parts of the day. So, uh, Nahari means daylight between sun, sunrise and sunset, and at the approach of the night. Indeed, good deeds, deeds do away with misdeeds. That is a reminder for those who remember. 2236. Mosque, which Allah has ordered to be raised and that his name to be mentioned therein, exalting him within them in the morning and in the afternoon. 652. Do not send away those who call upon your Lord morning and evening, seeking his countenance. Not upon you is anything of their account, and not upon them is any of, of your account. So when you send them away, you would be of the wrongdoers. 1828. Keep yourself patient with those who call upon your Lord in the morning and in the evening, seeking his countenance, and let not your eyes pass beyond them, desiring adornments of the worldly life, and do not obey one whose heart has ha have made heedless of our remembrance, and those who follow his desire, and those who, whose affair is ever neglect. Wusta prayer. This prayer is at noon. 2 to 38. Guard, guard strictly the prayers, El Salawati, and the middle Wusta prayer, and stand before Allah, devoutly obedient. Salawati means three or more, and the Wa means add one more for a total of four. So in order to be Wusta, means middle prayer, there has to be an odd number of prayers, bigger than three in total. So the total number of prayers is at least five. A Sali prayer, afternoon before sunset, as long as there is a shadow, 1315, and to Allah prostrates whatever is in the heavens and the earth, willingly or by compulsion and their shadows in the morning and in the afternoons. 11.114 And establish prayer at the two parts of the day and at the approach of night. Indeed, good deeds do, do away with misdeeds. That is the reminder for those who remember. 24.36 Mosques which Allah has ordered to be raised and that his, his name be mentioned therein exalting him within them in the mornings and in the evenings. A Shia prayer, evening time after sunset, before, but before complete darkness. 2458, O oh, you who have believed, let those whom your right hand possesses and those who have yet reached puberty among you ask permission of you before entering at three times before the dawn prayer, Fajr, and when you put your clothes aside for rest at noon, Wusta, and at the evening prayer, El Ishia, Ashi. These are three times of privacy for you. There is no blame upon you, but upon, nor upon them beyond these periods, for they continually circulate among you some of you among others. Thus does Allah make clear for you the verses, and Allah is knowing and wise. 11.114 And establish prayer at the two parts of the day, and at the approach of night. Indeed, good deeds do, go, do away with misdeeds. That is 
a reminder for those who remember. 1828, keep yourself patient with those who call upon their Lord in the morning and in the evening, seeking his countenance, and let not your eye pass beyond them, desiring adornments in the worldly life, and do not obey those whose hearts whose heart have made heedless of our remembrance, and who fo follows his desires, and whose affairs ever neglect. So a, a Shia prayer is the longest prayer, or Salat, because it is supposed to be prayed from the time of the setting of the sun to the black thread, where um, you can almost see nothing. Um, 1778. Establish the prayer at the decline of the sun, sunset till the darkness of the night. Tahajid prayer. This one means all night long. 1779. And from the night, pray with it as additional prayer for you. It is expected that your Lord will resurrect you to a praise station. 76, 25 to 26. And remember the name of your Lord, morning and evening, and of the night. Prostrate to him and glorify him a long night. 5040. Glorify him at night and after the prostration. 2130. Glorify your Lord from the hours of, of the night. 5249. And glorify him at night and after the stars. The first Qibla before Medina, 2125. And we made and when we made the house a place of return for people and a security and turn and take, O oh believers, the, the standing place of Abraham, a place of prayer. And we changed Abraham and Ismail. Purify my house for those who purify, who perform to laugh and those who are staying there for worship and those who bow and prostrate. This Kibla used was used until the Most Gracious changed it in Medina. The original Qibla was straight, a straight line from Makram Abraham to Al-Aqsa. And when the Prophet Al-Aqsalam moved to Medina, stay in this, it, he stayed in the same direction until Allah changed it to 144. But in 2.125, the Surah started to be revealed in Mecca, or at least this ayah, and Makram Abraham was south of the Kaaba, not east like today. Nowadays, the Qibla only applies for the believers inside of Masjid al-Haram. The second Qibla for the, all, all the Muslims outside of Masjid al-Haram and for the Muslims in the in all of the world after Allah changed it from the first Qibla to 144. We certainly seen the turning of your face toward the heaven and we surely and we will surely turn to you a Qibla which you will be pleased. So turn your face toward Masjid al-Haram or where, wherever you are turn your faces towards it. Indeed, those who have been given the scripture well know that it is the truth from their Lord, and Allah is not uh, unaware of what you do. Um, that's today's video. Salamu alaikum all. Give a, um, subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you. Bye. Um, I almost forgot to uh, add this, but this is the basic prayer um that i have been doing and i have done been doing my research and um finding out that this is very close to um what it, it has in the quran so if you can understand this um the first line is you standing up um and doing the comma, the tugbir, um, fatiha, Quran, and then tugbir, and then you're bowing. 
and you're saying um, that, and then Tugbir, and then you're standing again, and then you go down and to the fourth one, and you say uh, Tugbir, and then you sit there and you say um, the Rabu Fearly, Rabu Fearly, Rabu Fearly, and then um, Tugbir again, and then you prostrate and say this. And then when you've done that three times, then you come up and then you say Tesbi and like three times, and then you go back down. This is done twice, these two, the prostrating and then sitting there. And then when you've done with that twice, then you stand up again um, and you do Tugbir, uh, Fatiha, Tugbir, and the rest of it again. Um, but you only do the Ikama once. And um, I would like for you, to, you guys to find out how you can do the Ikama. I can help you if you'd like. Um, and then while you're sitting in the last sitting, then you say all three of these things down here at the bottom uh, three times each. And as well, all of this is in the Quran. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, let me know if you guys do it differently or um, if there's something that I missed or anything because um, we can all use this to better ourselves. Um, I am not above uh, getting um, com uh, comments that say um, we should change this or, um, um, you know, something like that. But um, to be fair, um, we should all be nice to each other when we when we do comment. Um, there's no room for rudeness or telling people that they're kufar or anything like this because of how someone else does something. So if you guys have comments um, that say that I should change something or, you know, again, please be nice. And um, this is a learning process. This is, you know, this is probably the fifth time that I've tried to, uh, um, I don't know how to explain it, but this is like the fifth time that we try to uh, put this uh, prayer in the, like this. So this is the closest that we found in the Quran. So I think we're getting closer, but um, again, if somebody has comments or questions or anything, please let please let me know and I'll try and help. Uh, Salamun alaikum all. Bye.